Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick video to walk you through how to navigate back to the starting point of your given activity while you're in the activity. Now I mentioned that because you can actually navigate back to the starting point of a saved activity as well. But in this video, we're assuming that you're in the middle of an activity, maybe you're out hiking, maybe you're walking and you get lost or it's getting close to dark and you need to figure out how to get back to where you parked or where you started the activity. That's what we're gonna be doing in this video. So first let me say I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar. Doesn't matter if you're using one of the solar versions or non-solar versions. This video should work the same for everybody. I'm also gonna go through this fairly quick. I'm kind of assuming you know the basics of navigating and doing activities. If not, I've done some videos in the past that walk you through that. You might wanna review those first. So first and foremost, we need to go do an activity. So I'm gonna press the GPS button. It's the upper right-hand button if the watch is facing you. And then I'm gonna use the up or down buttons to navigate to whatever activity I'm wanting to do. So in this video, I'm just gonna do a walk. I'm gonna press GPS to select walk. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you know you've got some different options per activity. The one option that you have to make sure you have turned on here is the GPS. If you don't have GPS connected, there's no way the watch can get you back to where you started from. It has no way of knowing that. Uh, everything else is kind of optional, heart rate, all that stuff. It's just like any other activity, whether you want it or not. Now, what I'm gonna have to do here is I can't start this activity here because if I try and navigate back to this spot, it'll basically say I'm already there. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to a different location. All I'm gonna do now that my GPS is connected is I'm gonna press the GPS button to begin my activity. But I'm gonna go do that somewhere else. I'm gonna navigate, I'm gonna basically do the activity, walk over here, and then we'll go from there to show how to navigate back to where I started the activity from. Okay, so I've gone out and I've started my activity, my walking activity. Now, this information is gonna be different for everybody. It depends on what your data screens look like, but as I'm in my activity, I can see that I've gone 0.13 miles. Uh, I've been going for two minutes and 34 seconds, and I can see my current elevation at 264 feet, 265 feet. So let's say you're out, you're hiking, you're doing your activity, or in my case, I'm doing a walk. Now, all of a sudden, I wanna go back to where I started from. All we're gonna do is while we're in the activity, we're gonna again press the GPS button. This is gonna temporarily pause the activity and then we're gonna get some menu options. If we use the ABC button to go down, one of the options is back to start. I'm gonna press GPS to select that. And then I've got two different options that are gonna be presented with me. Track back means it'll take me back to the starting point of this activity using the same path that I took to get where I am right now. So if I went through a creek, if I went through you know, a forest, whatever, it's gonna take me back the exact same way that I came. Straight line would be putting me in a direct line to my starting point, regardless of what's in front of me. So I think most people would use track back. I use this feature a lot when I'm hiking. I don't like using straight line because it might send you through somebody's private property. It might send you through somebody's yard, whatever. Whereas track back, you kind of know the path because you've already traveled that path. It's just gonna send you back the exact same way you came. But either, either of those two options will work for you. I'm gonna choose track back by pressing GPS while I'm on it. It's gonna take a second and then my map is gonna load and I'm going to start my navigation. You can see my destination is 0.13 miles away. It's showing me the direction that I need to go. As well as on the map here, you can see my starting point and my stopping point. Now this isn't a very good example because I'm only, uh, what, a tenth of a mile away. I can press and hold the menu button. I can choose pan and zoom and I can zoom into the map to look. But you can see here's my starting point. This arrow is showing my current uh, location and the direction that I'm facing. And then I can see the path that I need to take to get back to my starting point. I hope that makes sense. I've done a video in the past that walks you through panning and zooming the map. I'm not going to go through all of that once I'm done looking at the map though. I can press the back button and again I can just begin navigating. Once I get to my destination this will go zero as, to zero. As I'm tracking back this number should be going down if I'm following the correct path. There's some alerts that you can set up for navigation if you happen to get off course. I'm not going to go into that. Maybe I'll put a link to some videos if I do some alerts for navigation. Once you're done all you're going to do is you're going to press the GPS button. That'll again pause the activity and then you can either save the activity discard it, do whatever you need to, just like any other activity. So in this case, since it was just for a video, I'm just gonna discard it. I hope that makes sense. It's very easy. Basically, while you're in an activity, just press the GPS button and go back to 
Back to start, choose how you want to get back and follow your GPS map. As always, I hope the video helps. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.